What's up, ACO fam? In this video, I'll be talking to you about the differences between GMAS and Streak, two very good email marketing softwares for your agency. As always, if you want all the tools, resources, and tips that I've used to scale my agency to $185,000 per month in sales, go to agencygo.io forward slash leads. All right, so the thing about Streak is Streak is uniquely positioning itself differently than GMAS. And in this video, I'll be talking about why you would use GMAS, what situations you would use GMAS, and, and really the, the ultimate differences between the two. Now, what I would categorize Streak as is the ultimate productivity tool for sales teams on Gmail, right? The thing about GMAS is if you haven't heard of it already, it's essentially an email marketing tool that, that allows you to send automated emails through Gmail, warm up, emails uh, emails through there. And they also claim that they have the highest open rates that you've ever seen. Now, as somebody who's used GMAS a lot, I do agree that it is incredibly good. It's a great software. There's not really a lot better you can get for free that I've seen because they actually have a free plan which allows you to actually use it to its fullest extent for free. Now there's a lot of things that you can do a streak though that you cannot do with Gmails. And so again, G streak, just to keep it in mind, streak is a fully comprehensive tool that has many different features than Gmails. Gmails is really just used for one thing, which is cold email outreach. Now, once you've connected streak to your email account, you have the option to use it for partnerships, to use it for your CRM, to use it for task management, to use it for all sorts of things. And this bypasses the need to actually have your own separate CRM and to just instead have everything in one place. And just like GMAS, it allows you to upload leads directly into here and do all sorts of outbound prospecting from this. And as you can see, you actually have this breakdown, which happens right inside your GMAS account, which will show different leads based on where they're at in the pipeline. You can add a box and that box will be a different section to actually be able to categorize these different leads. So this works just like any other CRM, but it's essentially taking your CRM and adding it to your Gmail. It's increasing your productivity. You can see Pitch leads, demo leads, negotiating leads, close loss. It's a really cool tool. I have to admit, it's a pretty amazing tool. Um, and just to be clear, GMAS doesn't offer any of this. You have your pipelines for various different things. You have a hiring pipeline, right? Resume, phone screen, in interview, internal decision offers. So this is really, really cool. You have your support pipeline, which is really awesome for tasks. So let's say that you are part of this team where you can add people to just by going like this. You can add new contacts to it. Let's say you're part of this team. You can have different pipelines. You can view all these different pipelines from one place. If you're the manager of this team, it's really, really interesting how they do it. I, I actually have to say this is probably the most robust CRM inside of your actual email than anything else that I have seen to date. And I've done a lot of different reviews on software and over the years. And this one is definitely one of the most robust just inside of Gmail. Now, again, you can add people to the team. So you can share people on the team. You could do advanced where you can add individuals and then you can track all this together, which is really, really cool. And again, GMAS doesn't offer any of this. You can also do integrations and automations. So you can transfer data from different spaces. You can get notified. This is really cool. This is one of my favorite features within Streak. And I'm not I'm not sponsored by Streak or anything, but it is really, really cool. So you could say, you know, get a weekly Slack summary of all new inboxes. That's really cool. And GMAS does not do that. So GMAS is super weak in this regard. They don't have any real automations. I know they have them, but not really as well, right? You connect to 4,000 plus apps. That's just insane, right? You can use all these different zaps. You can automate repetitive tasks. So anytime you can create a task when a box changes the stage, you can change the stage when receiving the first email. That's really cool, right? So there's just a lot of really cool things that you can do within Streak that you just cannot at all do within GMAS. I mean, not at all, right? And so let's get into price. Let's see, is this really something that's more is better for the price and, and all that. 
So GMask, if you go into the individual pricing, it's $19 per month for standard, monthly $19. If you pay for a year, you can get $109 per year, right? For the year plan, the low end, the high end is $4.99 enterprise. Team plans bring that down significantly based on the amount of users, right? Now, the one thing about GMask that they don't really advertise is that you can use their warm-up feature for free. And that is pretty cool because what it allows you to do is it allows you to actually avoid having to pay any money to warm up your emails. And that is the one feature which I recommend you use GMask for because when you buy a domain, right? And you can click here just on email warmup. You see my stats. You can see different stats of different types of campaigns. But the thing is, and you can see how you can warm it up. You can warm up a campaign all the way up to this, this one, this email is sending uh, over a hundred emails per day with virtually none going to spam whatsoever. That's because it's warming up the campaigns. I went to 110 per day, right? Now the thing is, you can have this running on campaigns without even using any of their other features. So for that, it's definitely worth it because again, it's free. It's free to do this, completely free. Now if we look at Streak and we go to their pricing, we can see it's free, right? To email tracking, mail merge, basic CRM. So in this regard, I would recommend using both. Use both because it's free to use both and they do different things very well. And again, you can see here, Streak is not trying to be a cold email feature, right? What it's supposed to be more of than anything else is a CRM, bypassing your need to have a CRM and instead having your CRM all in one place, which is really cool. Honestly, it's trying to be HubSpot, I would say, in your email without having to need anything else ever again, which is pretty, pretty cool, right? pretty amazing. Um, I think you get a lot for the price. I think you get a lot for the price relevant to other softwares. Um, now, and I, th I think that it doesn't really have certain things that would be more important for let's say an outbound sales team. But I think to have your entire business run off Gmail without the need for so many different softwares is definitely worth the money. And the thing that is a little bit on the downside is I don't really like the way that they have this layout. It looks a little weird to me. But I can see why a lot of people like it. It's simple, it's straightforward. And again, I've talked about this before. The softwares that work really well are the ones where there's not a lot of task switching, right? Context switching. Everything's in one place. I want to see what's up with hiring. Boom. I can just see what's up with hiring one, one click. I want to see what's up with support. Boom. Sales. Boom. And I can have as many different pipelines as I want to basically keep track of all of this for my team. So that is pretty impressive. Uh, that is something that GMAS does not offer. Again, GMAS is really around sending campaigns and having really good warm-up systems for new domains. That to me is the real big important thing. They don't really have anything in regards to the API. I think their API is pretty weak. Uh, you can go check it out, but it doesn't really offer that much. Um, there's not that much to be desired here. Uh, it's pretty poor, uh, not that great. So I wouldn't use GMAS really for anything else. In fact, I would recommend you watch my video uh, comparing GMAS to Lemlist, that is actually, Lemlist is a great tool for cold email. I'd recommend using that. If you're an agency that offers cold emailing as a service, I recommend using Woodpecker. But if you're not, then I recommend using GMAS now, or sorry, using Lemlist. Now you can add in all these different contacts to different pipelines, just with a click of a button. It's pretty impressive. You can just click all these, you can search suggestions and you can skip that for now. Once you've done this, then they're all in one place. Now. Again, with the integration, Streak just is way more comprehensive. And you know, I would love to show you all the cool features that GMAS offers and everything, but to be honest, that none of that they offer is in any way comparable to Streak. Like Streak has way more stuff than GMAS. I mean, just by a landslide that you can do within Gmail. So I wouldn't even, it's not even worth mentioning some of the stuff that GMAS can do. Now, again, GMAS has a very robust email warmup feature, and I think that's where they have their main competitive advantage is around email warmup, whereas Streak is mainly focused on being your full integrated feature set for everything around Gmail, which is really, really cool at a very cost-effective price per user. And again, when you're sending emails, think of this as if they're taking your email 
and they're essentially turning Gmail into HubSpot. That's really what they're aiming for from what it looks like. So you could do a whole bunch of things anytime you send an email. If I'm sending an email to Lucas, myself, and then I can add tasks to this person. I can do all sorts of things and I can basically assign it to people. I can schedule it. I can do a lot of stuff right from that email inbox, which is pretty impressive. Now, if I look at the different features that they have, you can see they have the pipeline feature. They have, like I said, a hive mind for your team automatically share emails. This is really, really, really cool. Um, this is nice splitting conversations into separate email threads. And then they just have a huge user base, 750,000 happy users. Now, maybe relative to other uh, you know, tools, it's not as big, but I mean, obviously Facebook itself has billions of people, but for a software tool built on Gmail, it is pretty impressive. And as you can see here, Streak is a Google Partner of the Year. I can tell you for a fact that GMAS does not get the same level of recognition from Google, especially because they're focusing a lot on cold emailing. But you can see here that Google loves this because this is getting more people on to Google. And you can see Uber uses this. So a lot more robust, a lot more. If you're trying to handle your business and grow your business and scale your business, I recommend using something like streak and if you break down the one thing that does have streak is it's just like salesforce where salesforce has all these different categories of how you can use the app streak does a similar thing where you can manage sales project management business development support i really like their partnership function because i have actually also built a partnership crm for agencies i love this i think people should be using this and they should be using my software using both probably a great way to grow your agency it allows you to share emails stay nimble work these different deals this is something i've said all the time is that when you work with partners, it's very different than when you're just trying to sell people. You have to work with other people. You have to sell collaboratively. Like this is the key thing here. All collaborators, collaborators on our tuning can read emails, even if not included in the thread. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty awesome. So there's certain things you just can't do with your normal CRMs that you can do with your actual streak tool. You can track your outgoing email. That's a pretty common function, but the fact that you can do it all from your Gmail is pretty cool. Like being able to see the amount of opens and everything, that is pretty neat. Um, this whole mail merge thing is something they're really, really big on and being able to basically merge all these different emails together. And I'll, I'll zoom in here so you can see, but it, it's pretty cool how you can take any email that's occurred between two different people and merge them into one recipients list. That is pretty neat. Be able to see all of them in one place. That is definitely something that GMAS does not have, right? Um, and then, you know, enable inbox visibility, seeing all this stuff. This is just pretty neat. A lot of really cool features for a business development team. Now, when it comes to working with GMAS, I don't want to fully ignore it. And I know I've been talking a lot about uh, using um, Streak, but uh, you know, when you're working with the GMAS, essentially the different features that it does have that Streak doesn't seem to have as much of is the ability to do a more robust outbound strategy with something like GMAS. So if I'm just comparing these two tools, I would say if I'm doing only outbound prospecting, I would probably use GMAS in correspondence with something like Streak, because I can still use Streak's pipeline, I can still use Streak's CRM, even if I use GMAS. So if I use the two in conjunction, I can get a lot done. Now with Streak though, I would I would say is far and beyond a better tool for integrations, all that stuff. I mean, your API is just not even close to as robust as you can get it with Streak. So Streak definitely, definitely, definitely wins, in my opinion, as far as if I'm, if I'm basing it solely on what you get for the price, what you can, how you can scale for the price. But again, I would use GMAS for the email warm tool, but I wouldn't actually use that only for email outbound because there's better tools out there. Like I said, Lemless is better than GMAS in my opinion. I wouldn't even use it. I would use it for the email warm up though, because again, it is free, whereas Lemless makes you pay for the email warm up. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the differences between GMAS and Streak, and I hope it's been helpful for your business. If you'd like to like, share, and subscribe to the content, I can get you more of this content on a regular basis, and it really helps out our channel. So thank you so much for that. And if you want all of the content that we've used to scale our agency, go to agencygo.io forward slash leads.